I'm just gonna spill the tea because I literally don't care. My worst ex story is gonna have to be the time that my ex. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nadia back with another video. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today I'm gonna be doing a mukbang. Mukbang, mukbang, whatever it's called. I'm gonna be eating Taco Bell and talking to you guys today. So that's what we're doing. I'm actually really excited because I love eating and I love talking. So those two things together is perfect. Okay, so for today, I'm going to be eating Taco Bell, and this is weird. Alright, well my freaking picture just fell off my wall. Paranormal shit. But anyways, um, I got Taco Bell today, and I usually never eat Taco Bell. I just don't like it. I would rather eat Chipotle than Taco Bell, but I woke up craving Taco Bell today, so... This is what I have. So let me go ahead and take my braces off before I start eating. Okay, so my braces are off and I'm ready to grab. Um, yeah, so it came with a huge Baja Blast. I think I got I got something called, wait, I have my receipt. I got the Chalupa Craving box. It comes with a Chalupa Beef Supreme, a five layer burrito and a crunchy taco. Wow. Um, and it also came with like cinnamon twists, but I asked if I could substitute like with chips and cheese. So I'm going to dive in. All right. This is a pretty big box. Honestly, I'm probably not going to finish the whole thing, but we will try. I don't think you guys can even see my food, but that looks good. It's a lot of food. You guys can't see my food, that's not good. I have to zoom out, wait one second. All right, so hopefully you can see my food now. So I'm just gonna get grubbing. So yeah, anyways, so two days ago or yesterday, I posted on my Instagram story that I wanted to film a Q&A and I asked people to send me questions. So I actually did get some really good questions that I wanna answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer them um, while I open my food. Actually, I'm like all over the place. I also, I forgot I got this. But I also got nacho fries. Um, I never tried these and everyone talks about them, so I wanted to try them. I should not be eating this, but I worked out this morning, so I can cheat today. Alright, so let's wipe the hands. Got all my sauce. You know I got the sauce. You know I'm sauce. I'm just gonna dive in because I'm so hungry. Ugh, I'm starving. I also have my big bottle of ketchup and my Valentina. This is like the best hot sauce ever. I love this and I love Tabasco sauce and I love Sriracha sauce. If you don't know yet, I'm a hot sauce fanatic. I just love sauce in general, but this is the bomb, so I'm definitely going to eat this, and I also put ketchup on everything, so I might put it on my taco, not sure yet. So, I'm going to open the cheese thing. Mm. That's good. It's like a fry first. They're like soggy. They're okay. Actually, they're really good. Mmm, a little ketchup on this. So I'm gonna dip my fries in the ketchup. Oof. Oof. I feel like I'm a mess. Let's start answering questions. Um, how many cousins do you have all together? Do you have any favorites? Hey girly, you are beautiful. Thank you. Um, I have a lot of cousins. It's going to take me a while to count all of them. Um, so I have three cousins that are close in my age that you probably see in my vlogs all the time. Nomi, Roba, and Zara. Um, I'm literally with them all the time. They're really the only people I ever hang out with. <sighs> there is Ahona, who is the sister of Sinan and Zahi. So that's three. And then Sarah and Sadaf and Aiden are siblings as well. 
um, so that's six. And then Nomi and Shayan, eight. Brova, who's an only child. Zara and Shadi, so that's 11. Sheza, that's 12. Um, Sophia, that's 13. I'm just thinking, if I forget someone, that's really bad. I don't know. No, that's pretty much everyone. So what was that, 13? 13 cousins. I also have some cousins on my dad's side, but I really like, honestly, I don't know all of them, so I can't count. Um, they live in my home country, and I have two that live here. By the way, yeah, I know my nails are all different colors. Like, I don't want to talk. I'm just going to tell you guys. So I originally got my nails done this blue color, but I've been eating curry with my hand because, you know, I'm brown and I eat curry with my hand. If you're going to hate on me for that, then what? I'm brown and I eat curry with my hand sometimes. And in curry, there's turmeric, which is like a yellow spice and it stains your nails and my nails are stained this finger nail broke off so i put like a so i have these like press on nails so i put one of them on i was gonna take all of them off today before the video but i just got too hungry so do the video with my ratchet ass nails and hope you guys don't to judge me um yeah but i don't have any favorite cousins obviously i'm closer to some cousins um versus other cousins just because of the age gap but i love all my cousins equally like i'm honestly close to all of them I'm honestly close to all of them and I love all of them so much and we're just a great big family. I think I was asked this question because they're all over my YouTube and social media. Next question. If you could change your name, what would you make it? B3LAL underscore ask that. Um, I actually really like my name. I don't think I would change my name. I honestly really like my name. It's very, I wouldn't say it's unique because there's a lot of people with the name Nadia, but I just think it summarizes me really well. Like, I feel like I just look like a Nadia. Um, I also like my middle name, which is Iman, so um, some people call me that. But if I could change it, <sighs> I've always really liked the name Natalie. Um, I actually know someone who's named Natalie, but I really like that name. I've always wanted that. Or Natasha. I also really like that name. Um, and I really like the name Mila, but that's the name of my puppy. I named her that because I just really like that name. And yeah, like those are some names I really like. So that was a good question. I, I haven't even gone to the taco part because I just love fries and nachos and yes I'm dipping my nacho and ketchup see I don't really like this I like um the nacho cheese tacos because these shells don't really taste like anything and I need a lot of flavor to my food so let me get fire sauce i am seriously i love sauce i like it saucy a valentina such a good sauce Ooh. do you see how much sauce i'm putting on this like mm. all right i'm about to dive in um i don't know where to start because like here. Actually, let me add a little bit of hot. Come soft. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Let us answer another question. Favorite food? <sighs> this is hard because I love like everything. Um, okay, I love Thai food. I love like my kind of food, Bengali food. Um, I love home cooked Bengali food. Um, I love 
Spanish food but I love Chipotle like oh my god I can eat Chipotle like every day if I could I actually go at least once a week I swear the people at my Chipotle know know me by now and they know my order I always get like an extra dressing and they already know that I do that and always just give it to me without me asking if you go to Chipotle and you don't get the Chipotle vinaigrette dressing, you are missing out. That's like the best. It makes Chipotle so good. And of course, with Valentina and Tabasco, muy delicioso. Something that shaped you to be who you are today. A lot of things have shaped me to be who I am today. Like, I've been through so much shit that I'm not going to get into today. Um, I'm happy that I'm in a really good place in my life right now, but I've literally been through the strangest, like, weirdest things. I've just been through a lot, and um, I will talk about, you know, a lot of them in other videos. But I think a positive thing that shaped me who I am today um, was moving to Bangladesh when I was about... In, I was in 8th uh, grade when I moved to Bangladesh, and I lived there for about two years I need a burp I lived there for about two years and I think that really shaped me to who I am today because I just met people from all over the world and I became more knowledgeable of a lot of things that happen around the world I just loved staying there I first when I first was moving there I thought it was the end of the world obviously I was born and brought up in New York I did not want to go live in a third world country and I just I was not for it so I was really upset but then it was for the better because I became a better person I believe and it shaped me to be who I am today that's also when I started being motivated to lose weight if you didn't know this um but I used to be very very heavy I used to weigh about 155 um and I was 4 9 4 10 at that time so when I moved out of the country, that's when something just snapped out of, in my head that I have to like have a healthy lifestyle. That's um, also what happened when I moved to Bangladesh. So that trip really like changed my life. I also had my first boyfriend there. So no shout out to you, Jaju. <laughs> Worst ex story. Boy, I have a lot of those. Um. Uh, wow. I have too many. I don't know if I can literally pick one of them. I just don't know of... Hmm. Hmm. Oh. I'm going to think about it. I just don't want to get into, like, the worst story. But I'll think about a bad one that I could talk about. Oh. I don't know. They're all really bad. I just don't want to bring it up. <laughs> I'm just going to spill the tea because I literally don't care. My worst ex story is going to have to be the time that my ex hooked up with my little cousin. That's all I'm going to put out there. Next question. Funniest ex story. Really? I don't know. It's all the tea I'm going to spill today. If you guys want to hear the story, thumbs up the video. We'll talk about my first ex. So. My first boyfriend in Bangladesh, um, he actually asked me to be his girlfriend over texting. We were actually really close. We were like best friends in class. So yeah, so like we ended up liking each other and he asked me to be his girlfriend over text. And I was like, yeah, of course, blah, blah, blah. And we were happy, whatever. And then we went to class the next day. Literally, we did not make eye contact, eye contact with each other we didn't talk the whole day because we were too damn shy like all my friends even my teacher was like what's going on why aren't you guys talking to each other and we just literally i guess going from best friends to in a relationship relationship it's just really awkward so we just didn't talk to each other for two whole days but we would go home after school and be texting and talking and it was just weird. That's just really funny to me now that I think about it. We were so young. It's just hilarious. I noticed that you are Muslim, but you're not very religious. How do your parents feel about that? Ooh, more tea to spill today. You guys just want all the tea today, don't you? Uh, yes, I am Muslim. 
Um, my family's Muslim, my parents are Muslim, and I am not very religious. I am a Muslim, but I wouldn't call myself a Muslim because I don't feel right calling myself a Muslim. I don't follow Muslim law. My parents, well, my dad is atheist, so he don't really care. My mom is religious. She does pray and she does, you know, follow some of the rules of our religion, not all of them. And she knows how I am. And, you know, at first she's really upset. Sometimes she'll just say rude, snide comments to me about how I live my life. But she's accepted it and she's fine with it because at the end of the day, she knows that I'm a good person and that's really all that matters in my opinion. Um, I do believe in a God. I believe in a higher power. I believe that there is a God, it's just I don't agree with the strict rules of our religion and I especially don't like how people of my religion, um, usually older people, will tell you that you're going to hell for doing one small thing and will just, you know, think you're a horrible person and you're going to and I don't want to talk about it too much because I'm just, so I'd rather not get into that but um, at the end of the day, I think I'm a good person and that's what matters and I do believe in some kind of God. I'm just not religious in my own world. Best advice you can give. I don't know who I am. I don't know where I am in life. Like, I don't really have any advice to give. I think the best advice I can give... I don't know if it's advice, but... Oh, my eyes. Alright, well, the best advice that I can give... Be a good person, be nice to others, do kind things um, because karma is real. If you are a bad person, if you put out bad and negative energy, it will come back to you. Um, I'm a firm, firm believer of like energy and um, like the law of attraction and whatever you put in the universe is what's going to happen. Whatever, you, whatever energy you put into the universe is the same energy that's going to come back to you. I really believe that. If you're a horrible, nasty, jealous person that treats people horribly, it's gonna come back to you. And that is a proven fact. And um, always be kind to people because you don't know what people are going through. Um, and just, that's my best advice. I think I'm gonna end the video here because I'm full. <laughs> and I feel like I've been rambling. This was a lot of fun. I love talking videos and I love answering questions. I didn't think I would get a lot of good questions, but I actually did. Um, if you guys want, you could follow me on Instagram. It's, um, it's where I'll be posting more. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want. Go ahead and hit the bell to get post notifications for whenever I post. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. I really have to go pee because I had this huge thing of soda, which I regret. But yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. You're watching us nails. <laughs>